I'm serving my corporate overlords and you see this world of public guidance signage. I make signs for Starbucks because they pay me and the mortgage company likes it. But I'm also a cartoonist and um, I've done some textbook work, some advertising work, a little of this, a little of that. A couple of books with Nat. Um, and I write for Geek Dad. Um, and I write for, I have my own blog uh, that my wife and I do called Blue Collar Black Tie. Uh, we created a nice last year about archery and film. Yes. Yeah, I, I picked up a little crap last year when I said Hawkeye's a World Force Archer. Uh, <laughs> which he was. Didn't the show Arrow change the bow for you? Yeah, Mark Lieberman said that he changed He broke the bow at the end of the last season. I hope they like the new bow we got him. Like I it's know. You know those people that answer blogs and ignore people? Yeah, <laughs> never read the bottom half of them. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the rule. Anyway. Two minutes left? You can do it. I believe in you. So Jim, uh -huh. how about yourself? Well, I mean, we love to just finish the graph of the novel. We're in Los Angeles. You know, I've done storyboards and animation art. And, uh, that's pretty much it. I was already looking at your drawings. I was very impressed. Oh, thank you. <laughs> 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 Too many. When you take a look at that. We might have time for one more, Sarah, maybe? Maybe. Mm -hmm. We're just increasing ourselves. I'm primarily a writer. I used to work at Game Show Jeopardy doing research. Um, I'm trying to get my hand back in doing art. And I recently just, just two weeks ago finished a book on adapting stuff as graphic novels, in which I actually do address the issue of con conventions and cosplay. One minute. And I have some pictures of cosplay. I'm trying to explain it to people who have no idea what mm -hmm. cosplay is about. Yeah. Thank you. We've got time for one more. Mark, maybe. Oh, uh, I'm Mark. I'm an artist. I uh, do commercial art and uh, a little bit of comics. And uh, I can't talk about myself. But <laughs> 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 That's all you need to do. Shy around pretty girls. Yeah. Uh, you know those pornographic comics you saw in Tijuana where you've got like Popeye and Betty Boop going at each one? Sorry. Yeah, we're going to
the door shape and then glue the fabric over it and then like the velcro uh -huh. in the back. <coughs> but everything about it works. Like sometimes you see people like doing like mm -hmm. gambit mm -hmm. cosplay or like mm -hmm. shaft from like young blood. Yeah. And then you see it, that's where it all falls apart. Mm -hmm. Right exactly. apart. Exactly. And that was like my biggest issue where I was like, well, it needs to be glued to my face, yeah. and how do I do that? Glued to my face. I, mean, I was like, going to do. <laughs> even the angle, when you angled it, you know, just slightly mm -hmm. and give it more of a yeah, form fitting nice kind of thing. Yeah. I think it was the first thing I noticed when you walked in. I'm like, oh my gosh, you really like nailed that. Or like I said, sometimes you see it on other people. Like, mm -hmm. Oh, well, what do they do? And it's part of those costume mm -hmm. designs where like, it looks good on paper, but like in the real world, I don't know how actually someone would do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right after you've worn a few of these, mm -hmm. like this is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> would never dress like this. You can't move. I'll still like make it, but <laughs> I'm not gonna do a high kick right now because I'm gonna have a split team in my crotch if that happens. Straight up, it's not. It's not so I, I worked on the um, the original uh, concept of uh, the Huntress for uh, DC uh, based on Joe Staten version of her, mm -hmm. and she was wearing real fucking shoes. I mean, just yeah. you know, I'm thinking, uh, you yeah, know what? She better be swinging from from roof to roof because she can't she walk. Can't land, yeah, right? Yeah. Not gonna happen. No. My actual, I have a, a different pair of boots that I was going to use for this costume, and they're like five inch heels, because that's what she's drawn in in the original sort of design. And then I was like, ha 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 ha. Uh, and heels are sexy, and they won't get your leg. Yeah, so they look totally beautiful, do. but they're just like remote, oh. like completely non functional in the real world. You know, you ought to get a, a drag queen to teach you how to walk in those. I know, <laughs> and do makeup. <laughs> like, I used to be a ballerina, so I'm actually really good with painful shoes, but. After 18 hours of those, then it's not good. Okay. Ma'am, you can tell a cat when you change the costumes from what they are in the, movie, in the comics mm -hmm. to when they make the movie. But you guys must really understand why. Yeah, and also, I mean, I don't know, I'm one of the movie When they change things in the movie, a lot of times it's because it wouldn't, it wouldn't work in you know, sort of a modern context or like an everyday context. Um, which is, I think, part of the reason why, like, Superman suit in the most recent movies like that colors and a little more streamlined mm -hmm. looking, because they try to sort of make it more modern. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People, 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 like, lost their shit. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Where, whereas I really love how they, up, like, updated and modified the, all the X-Men, you know. Yeah. yeah. So that worked for me in a real setting, but, like, Superman and Bandit sort of bothered me. <laughs> <laughs> Superman is just straight up ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. So, he well. just keeps Spandex. <laughs> I worked on um, some concept art for uh, what was going to be Tim Burton's version of Superman. Oh man! And and that was that was John Peters, the producer, saying, "It's like there's no way we're putting him in the original costume because right. the homeboys on the corner think he's a uh, he's gay." <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why I've enjoyed Arrow so much because it is a mix of you know Steve Urkel and Steve Green Green Ladder, but very functional. The only mm -hmm. thing that actually bothers me on that, actually from a real standpoint, is the fact that like he doesn't wear an actual mask or like completely black out the other half of his face because I'm sorry, like spraying mm -hmm. green on your eyes. And I still know you're, no, you're all queen. Like that's not hiding anything. And and so I just all wiped off in ten seconds. Yeah. Yeah. He sweat it off and his clothes like almost stay perfectly like kind of over there, but I don't know. Kind Although it's funny, you think like the domino mask concept, you would think that would have worked, but in real life. It's a life. It does yeah. work. I have um, one of my, the only costume I have used Max mask is X-23, the x force person. And I've been wearing that costume at a con and in something else the next day. Like, same person, very obviously, but they don't recognize me because they don't have a mask on my face. Actually, yeah, mask how and much your ability of your cheekbones can, like, change. <laughs> no ability to tell who you are. So you're going to get Black Canary this year on your own. You think it turns it? <laughs> 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 the, the end of the first episode. She's out on the yeah. street. It's not, it's not Laurel. It's somebody else. Oh, someone else? Are they doing like one of those switcheroos to think? Yeah, she'll try. I think, I think Laurel will eventually become yeah. I mean, she'd get anything. Well, mm -hmm. technically, it's her mom was the first one. Well. So maybe she, Alex Kingsley. Technically. Yeah. <laughs> that, was a, that was a retro set. Well, maybe it's real. I'm going to